to Smyrna. To the angel of the church in Smyrna, write this, the victor shall not be harmed by the second death. With Saturn and the earth element brought under your dominion with the help of the Archangel Cassio, you will now build up every single one of the churches. The first church of Ephesus is of the earth element. With this earth element, you will construct the other churches of your personal temple made of nine gates. We are now going to unlock freedom from suffering, gain from the purity of your suffering. The water element of the second Svadhisthana chakra purifies. However, this does not mean we are free from suffering. As you well know, with one year of this practice under your belt, rather, you become a master of suffering through the purity of your suffering. Doing so gives you the power to overcome death, achieve reincarnation, and the best sex of your life with the orgasmic data to prove it. This chakra gains mastery over the sacred secretion through semen retention. There are a few gods we will conjure for this very purpose. Pluto, the god of the underworld, where he rules as Hades, a resident of the underworld, Adonis, who plays a major role in the mastery over this second church, as his mother was Shmirna. The very church of Shmirna, originally called Myrrh, as in frankincense and myrrh, is named after the mythical mother of Adonis. Adonis is a phallic god whose cults revered the phallus and its sacred secretions as pathways to immortality and resurrection. Thus, the second church of Smyrna, ruled by Hades Pluto, where Adonis, who reveres the sacred phallus and its sacred secretion lives, helped to master semen retention and transmute your own suffering by being purified by it and thereby engender a resurrection of self. The Archangel of the Second Church of Smyrna is Azrael, the Angel of Death. He is the conduit between our soul's afterlife and future reincarnation, or, if you achieve immortality, other spiritual planes. The words of Jesus in St. John's Revelations promise the victor shall not be harmed by the second death. The second death is actually an endless string of a second death, followed by another one again and again. Each time you die, or a piece of you dies with the past as you move into the future, you are born anew. You are constantly being renewed, even right here and now, if you conscientiously choose to do so because your brain will get the hint then rewire the brain and body, starting again at zero, headed again to that second death, whenever it may be. The second church of Smyrna deals with persecution and intense, bitter suffering, and also the constant eternal resurrection or rebirth of self even during life. Archangel Azrael, Pluto Hades, the Church of Smyrna, and physically present, myself Adonis, are the key players in unlocking this orange chakra's superpowers. This is an incredibly personal church for me, as you may intuit. Pluto is also the ruler of Scorpio, and like the day this course was created, I was born with a full moon in Scorpio, making Pluto one of my primary rulers. Shmirna, or Myrrh, was the mother of Adonis, whose father was King Cenaris, Myrrh's own father. Myrrh seduced her father, King Cenaris, while he slept and became impregnated. King Cenaris sent to have her killed, but Myrrh 
was turned into a tree, the myrrh tree, whose incense is used with frankincense in many pagan religions around the world, even those pretending to be monotheistic today. As a tree, myrrh's womb grew and gave birth to Adonis, whose beauty mesmerized Aphrodite and Persephone, who both declared the baby as their own. To settle the dispute, Zeus himself intervened, and to appease Aphrodite and Persephone, but only showing Adonis was a slave to the gods, condemned Adonis to hell for a third of the year to live with Persephone, above on earth with Aphrodite, another third, and Adonis could choose the other third for himself. Someone killed him out of jealousy, either Apollo, Ares, or Artemis. Where the blood of Adonis streamed, roses bloomed. In despair, Adonis was swept away into a cave where his soul again had free passage to and from hell, but just the same, to and from earth. As the tale goes, Adonis used his understanding to blur the lines between hell and earth, life and death. And rather than allowing his soul to reside in hell, revivified his soul and arose out of the cave, resurrected, having reached immortality. My name, my moon sign, growing up without my mother, being a teacher of this resurrection magic science, make this my happy place, my domain. I am an expert in this chakra as I am an expert in transmuting severe, colossal suffering into a brilliant, everlasting smile and an imagination with unbridled magic full of wonder. In my veins, roses, not blood cells, make my blood run red. I have learned, on the flip side of intense pain, comes the power to dream and the go-getter attitude to manifest the dream. The heart of suffering is the seed of your dreams, and your pain is the earth body. The earth element of the Muladhara Chakra helped us to till the nature of our souls so our bodies become gardens, refreshed, rejuvenated, and no matter how old you are, you now look 10 to 20 years younger. In the second Svaristana Chakra, we discover the seeds of our dreams which were at the core of our suffering. In the heart of our suffering is the seed of our dreams and the paradox of the purity of suffering. Pluto Hades oversees the underworld, which is where I went, albeit unknowingly, every day as a child. Even to this day, I need a midday nap. But what I had no clue was that, by searching for my mother in my dreams as I did from 3 years old to about 25, I was actually astral projecting. The search for my mother in the afterlife during my waking dream state unwittingly created for me the ideal mind awake body asleep axis required for astral projection. I never saw my mother, so there are limits to the astral realm, and the most rational reason is because I do not have any physical item or possession of hers to link us. These items are carriers of energy signatures, like items of clothing, jewelry, especially gemstones. As long as there is a physical link, you can connect to anyone in the astral realm. Your body is a physical link to all your past lifetimes, and with this chakra activated, you can connect to any of your past lives because 
They all reside in the watery underworld, ruled by Hades Pluto, which is manifested as your sacral womb. In this sacral womb are all your past lives, and you can connect to any of them. Do so with respect and patience. Thanks to Archangel Azrael, it will become apparent to you the countless lifetimes you have lived. The opposite of fear is knowing. So, once you know how intimate with the process of death you are, you will not fear it. You will also be able to manage it in your life, as mastery of the chakra is the first door to immortality. Losing fear of death is one of the first and most incredibly healing steps you can take for yourself during this lifetime. Coupled with the power of Spinal Christos activation, joined with the Yazus Cerebro activation, death effectively becomes obsolete because you are activating the rainbow body now. In Buddhism, the rainbow body is the true essence of the physical body. Once we rid our consciousness of the ego, the sense of self, and the idea of separation, all the veils dissolve. The physical veils as much as the ideological ones, reducing you to pure energy. Energy that exists in its pure state as radiant, luminescent, nebulous energy. Immortal and everlasting, but only attainable with the keys and knowledge. So, let's take a deep dive into Shmirna's Church of Water and discover those keys and knowledge. And until next time, trust and believe that it is okay to be you. The most beautiful you there ever was, there is, and that there ever will be. Because you are not a story that can be told twice. And there will never again be a stage for you to perform but this one, right here, right now. So be you, the most beautiful you.